Entertainment Spot Jamaica hit give you the baddest news and reviews. Is there? Viewers and subs, welcome back to Entertainment Spot Jamaica. So Parchment gets a grand welcome up and return home from Tokyo Olympics. Residents of Springfield in St. Thomas lit up in excitement this morning at their hurdles hero Hans Parchment. Led a motorcade through the Paris, the St. Thomas native returned to Jamaica yesterday following his gold medal return in the men's 110 meter hurdles at the Tokyo Olympics in Japan. So, the whole it seemed like the whole of St. Thomas, in friends, family, the whole of St. Thomas did happy for his sister, him go over there, him represent for Jamaica, him represent for St. Thomas, him represent for him come from. So, the people them are treat him like a god in a earth right now. People them are praise him because he go, he go, he go over there and him did very well and from the news about the Japanese girl who helped her and he give, he went back to her and gave her the gold medal um, that was really really nice so a lot of people start gravitating him you know everybody want to know him everybody want to know why he's so nice um, everybody has say oh he's really a nice guy um, he deserved the a gold medal in the men's 110 meter hurdle so that was really really good so Check out the motorcade with him and other lot of people around celebrating his winnings in the men's 110 meter hurdles. So people, really really sad news, Olympian Brianna Williams returns home to news of grandmother's passing. Jamaican Olympic Sprint Relay Gold Medal winner Brianna Williams celebrations has been cut short after returning home to receive news that her grandmother, Bill Colhoun Simpson had passed shortly after she departed from Tokyo, Japan. So that's really 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 a sad news right now you're supposed to know the amount of pain she go through right now because she did really love her grandmother and, and the fact say how she go over to Tokyo Olympics she did her best and her grandmother never get the chance to congratulate her when she came back home so that's really 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 a sad news right now I don't really know how she go, go through this but my condolences go, goes out to her and her entire family so as I say it's really really sad but as good as it might be she go over there and she did her best in the Tokyo Olympics so her grandmother is looking down on her really happy and delighted that she really really go over there and did very well so as I say condolences to Brianna Williams um, grandmother and condolences goes out to her family as well so guys Adam just tweeted like couple hours ago and he said in addition to no limit VIP stage for our athletes who medaled my team and I Sanders Zizouz will be offering all athletes who traveled to the Olympic to represent the island in which we have our best resort a complimentary world's best vacay team Caribbean so I guess it's not just Jamaica alone it's the entire Caribbean I'll get a no limit VIP stays so that is really good you can see adam stewart really represent for the entire caribbean and 
I love this. I love to see them things. Yeah. I just love to see them things. Yeah. You see me? I see? Um, he also said we look forward to having you all getting some world class rest and relaxation after your incredible efforts. So, he really show much love and respect to the at least them who go out there and compete for the Caribbean. So, Adam Stewart, big up yourself, much love and respect. I know so the at least them are really really grateful for this. You see what I say? Because I know so they must tired from all the competing them did I do over the Tokyo Olympics. They must be tired man and them well deserve it. All who get gold medal, all who get silver, bronze, all who didn't even get a medal. Just just the effort that they put in, in to go over there and compete in the Olympics. That's all it is. So much love and respect goes out to Adam Stewart for doing this for the athletes. So people, final news. Barbadians protest mandatory vaccination. Hundreds of Barbadians took to streets of Bridgetown this morning to protest mandatory and contrary vaccination. No vaccine shortage. Some people carrying play cards. Most of them were just in a while. So I guess the people them now want to take no vaccine and in over there it's mandatory to be vaccinated so they have a protest out on the street saying no vaccination nobody's taking no vaccination because the vaccination only kill off the people is what me i say so they're on the streets doing a lot may have the footage so me are gonna make see what go on For watching guys, subscribe to Entertainment Spot Jamaica.